There's so many young people dying in the streets, and education is a way to change that and opportunity. Mr. President, how do we emphasize this? Well, look, the, the most important thing starts with parenting. Talking to young people constantly about the need to be focused on education. To do the second thing we've got to do is we've got to make sure we've got great teachers in the classroom. What I want you to take seriously is what we have to do for the youth. Carry on the struggle. Warren Valentine, coast to coast and around the world. Your child is my child. My child is your child. We should be looking out for each other's kids and working together to make sure that all these kids have a great opportunity, even if they come from a household that's not perfect. Warren, I, I completely agree. Join the Truth Fighters in full effect right now. Right now. Right now. All right, Truth Fighters, 888-669-2281, 888-669-2281. You want to weigh in on what we're talking about? Let's go out to Houston. Let's talk to Jimmy. What's up, Jimmy? Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Warren? You got it, brother. Hey, I'm finna, I'm finna give you the answer to all three of those questions, the organ, the Donald Trump, and uh, killing other black folks. All right. Now, you know, 2016. 16, you know there's only two ways of having an awakening moment, right? And that's through insight or pain. And majority of the folks going to experience it through the pain, 90-some percent. You can get the insight through, like, the radio shows, right? So when I'm listening to a master teacher, yourself, that's what I like about you, I get great insight, right? And you have that gift. That's why I love listening to you, because your gift, cause you do a lot of research and homework. And... Like I say, I get my gift is I can listen to you guys and I can get great insight. And that's why I had to, when I called in, I told you, don't be surprised. You see Donald Trump as the president. I foresaw that way ahead. And the same, don't be surprised if you see another black face. Got to be in that to continue to onslaught in other black folks. But I'm going to refer those three questions back to Dr. Francis Quest Wilson because sometimes you have to keep it simple and get to the root because I look at everything. Everything on this planet is a system, and, every, and the system always have a built-in defense mechanism, right? And the system of um, the system of racism, white supremacy, is is to those questions of organ. It, it's because of genetic survival, right? But it's the chemistry of the last lady that called. It, everything have a all systems have a chemistry of things mixed together. That's why I love that uh, y'all master teacher. All y'all come from have different angles but the um for the uh, for the organ it starts they always in their eyes it's white first and then everything else that's why it's as simple as that right and the killing of the black folks is is starting with genetic survival black folks because right here in houston i mean that right here it's open concealed right when you were talking about how they drove up within five seconds killed the kid well if we feel like a, a brother got his concealed open on the side, and when they were shooting us, they thought we had a gun. Now they're going to actually see that we're going to have a gun. And all you got to do is look at uh, somebody crazy and shoot. It's going to all boil down to, I know you probably get to that law that was passed up under Obama, the NRA, right? Ties in to the ISIS people. You see? So that's my... Um, that's going because because like I say like I want to say is that is um because see ancient because back in ancient um African we our gift as black folks is we very intuitive right we don't have to be so intellectual. okay uh, okay Jimmy I'm trying to I'm trying to let you answer the questions but I I I, I haven't okay. got an answer for each one of them give me give me the answers right quick because I got other people on the line okay it's it's it's, it's genetic survival. It's genetic survival first, and then they let you know that the rules that apply to them won't apply to us. So it is what the lady said, the economics, but you can see what they did to Bill Cosby. They don't care how much money he got. It's about genetic survival first, and the rules that apply to them don't apply to them. So we got to kind of do like what called Anderson them, build equal. That's why the co-op is important, because we got to build our own. All right, now, Jimmy, I thank you for the call. I thank you for the call. Now, let, let me say this. The Bill Cosby situation is a little bit different. Let me tell you why. Bill Cosby's worth about 300 or 400 million dollars. But see, this is the difference. Because we have not collectively come together. At this point in time, 
if somebody has money that's black or any, somebody has celebrity who's black, they don't fear going after that person. And the reason why is because what usually happens, right? When somebody black is accused of something or somebody black is arrested for something, we automatically believe what the media is saying. And because we automatically believe what the media is saying, what do we do? We start saying, oh, that Negro guilty. Oh, I didn't trust that Negro anyway. Oh, that Negro this, oh, that Negro that. We won't support that Negro. See, they understand that if they mess with these ranchers, it's going to be more ranchers that they're going to have a problem with. And it ain't going to be just ranchers in Oregon. They're going to have problems with ranchers in Washington, in California, in Arizona, in Utah. You're going to have ranchers all across the country in Texas having an issue with them messing with these other ranchers. We don't do that. We don't do that. See, I always tell y'all the story, right? Of me and my boys who we grew up together. Been friends for over 30 years. I always tell you the story. We can be out and we can be teasing each other and making fun of each other and, and, and laughing and just, I mean, just straight jonesing each other. But if somebody who's not with us or who didn't grow up with us or who, who haven't been around us comes into that circle and says anything, even if they joke was funny, they gonna have a problem with all of us. Because see, our mentality is simple. If one of us got a problem, all of us got a problem. And that's the mentality that I'm trying to instill into us as black folk. See, if we have the mentality, see, you know, my mother used to say this all the time. I don't care what you've done in your life, uh, uh, Red, I don't care what you do. Long as you tell me what you've done so I know how to fight for you. We ain't going to talk about it in public. We'll talk about it behind closed doors. But even if you wrong in public, I'm going to have your back because I'm never going to let somebody see you not have somebody behind you. Now, what she was trying to instill in me and what she did instill in me, what I have with my friends, is that, look, if you all are together, if you all are friends, family, whatever, if you're together, if one of you have an issue, you all have that issue. I mean, my mother was so, so my mother lived by this so much. I never forget this. I had to be 13 years old. And one of my boys came to the door and was like, man, they got my brother hemmed up at McDonald's. It's about seven to eight of them. And I got to go in here and try to get him out of there. And my mother heard the conversation. And so I went to go put on my coat. And my mother was like, look, you call me if something go wrong. You go help your friend. You call me if something go wrong. Now, the average mama would have been like, stay your butt in the house. But see, my mother knew that if I got in something, they was going to be coming, coming to get me like that. So... It, it is, it's, it's, it's important to understand that as long as the black community does not support each other in the sense that we look like we have unity. Now, look, behind closed doors, we could be like, you know, hey, Bill Cosby, guilty is all outdoors. But see, that's the gift and the curse of social media. Because if social media was alive when OJ was going through what he was going through, you would have had more black people convicting OJ than white folks. If you go look on social media right now, you got people calling this man all kind of rapists, everything. And look, like I said before, I don't know if he did it or not. But I do know it's other factors that's going on here. Nobody, you, you got to give this man the benefit of the doubt first. Let's find out what happened. But this is what happens in the black community because we will not have each other's back. Perfect example. This Flint, Michigan thing with the water. If, if, if I was Rush Limbaugh and I got on the air and said, look, I got Walmart to match whatever we raised for money for water, they would have they probably raised a million dollars by now. Just real talk. Because that's the way they operate. 
that's their MO. Our MO is not to, to, to come together. And so because it's like that, what happened? The only time we'll come together is if somebody kills somebody, then we if it's if it's a black and white person there, oh, we want to be up in arms. But when they doing something to one of us, and they come out, well, that person did this, we automatically, oh that I didn't like that Negro anyway. I'm glad that's happening to that Negro. And see, that's the other thing. We we get happy when something something happened to somebody. They deserve it. I just can't be like that. Look, I, I've publicly said, you know, I, I don't like Michael Bazin. When they took Michael Bazin off the air, I got on my show and, and complained about it because I thought they did him wrong. And, and look, he was no friend of mine. But that's the way I am. It, 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 it's not about me personally liking you. It's about if I see you getting done wrong, I'm going to say something. Because if I don't, I'm just as bad as the people who are doing it to you. 888-669-2281. All right, so we got Oregon down. What's the bigger picture when it comes to the police killing black men? What's the bigger picture when it comes to Donald Trump? 888-669-2281. Dale in Flint, Michigan, hold on. Dallas in California, hold on. Truth Fighters, I want to hear from you. Call up here now. I want I want another woman's take. The women seem to, to get it a little bit quicker than, than us fellas sometimes. Talking to you, Truth Fighters, Warren Ballantyne Show. <laughs> 